Hi everyone, I just wanted to do a quick video around Scannable, what it is, why we're using it at Reacts, how it can benefit the center, how it can benefit people that use it, um, the key features, functions. I just want to do a quick bird's eye overview of what Scannable is. So Scannable fundamentally is an app for inspecting equipment. Um, we historically in our training center have used an Excel spreadsheet like many, and that has become an issue as we've got more and more kit, we've expanded what we're using, we've got lots of samples in the center. So it became more of an issue. And when Scannable came about, we saw its features and functions and we looked at it and went, this is a great bit of software. So today I just wanted to talk around what Scannable is, why we're using it in the center, and why maybe you should consider it for your equipment on site. So just to show you, this is what Scannable looks like. Um, so this is the main home screen, this is what Scannable looks like, gives you a, a layout of your inventory, um, gives you a full list of the inventory of all of the items on your Scannable, allows you to set groups, fabulous, right. So today I'm going to show you some examples of some of the kit that we use in one of our working at height classrooms, the kind of tags the barcodes, how you can log those items, and therefore how you can have them on your Scannable app. So we've managed to bulk upload everything from our training center spreadsheet into the back end of Scannable. And we've begun the process, and we've done probably the majority of the center now, of adding it to Scannable with either NFC tags or the manufacturer's barcode. So I've got a few examples here. So an example is this Petzl helmet. So on the Petzl uh, range of products, they already put their own barcode in the back of them. So there's an example here of a barcode in the back. I don't know if you can see that, and it's going to focus. Um, so with Petzl products, you can use the barcode from the manufacturer on the back. The same applies to Skylatech and a number of other manufacturers that have inbuilt barcodes. That barcode links to Scannable and therefore allows you to log items on their system. The alternative to that is NFC tags. So there are variations of tags for NFC tagging. Scannable utilize these to put onto the products. So there's zip tie variants with a uh, NFC tag built in. There's a more heavy duty version of the NFC tag. Um, there are stickers that also have NFC tags attached. So there's lots of different variations of the tags, and this is by no means the, the extent of their range. There's about 15 different variations of an NFC tag. But fundamentally, the NFC tag sits on the product and allows you to very quickly access that product on the scannable system. So I'll give you a couple of examples of that now. I'll pick. So this is a Finch work position lanyard. Um, and on here, it has a scannable NFC tag. So it sits right next to the labeling on this Finch. So if I take my phone now, I open it up, I open the NFC reader, and I hold this NFC reader to the tag. It then brings up that particular item on Scannable. And as you can see from here on the screen, it passed its inspection. The next inspection is due on the 14th of June, 2024. It has an NFC attributed to the item. It gives you the serial number, name, date of manufacture. It's owned by Reacts in this case. It also, when you go next on the next tab, it gives you the specifications. It gives you the manual, the data sheet, the declaration of conformity, the loadings. And in this case, under groups, it also tells you what classroom in our training center that piece of kit is allocated to, in this case, the working or height classroom. So that in itself, is a really great way of tracking down where this piece of kit lives, where it should be, its history. Um, on this history tab we've got here, it gives you um, when it was added to the inventory, when it was last scanned, who inspected it. It really gives you a real depth of detail around this item. So I'll give you a couple of other examples while I'm on it. So this is another item that's in our work at class. A height classroom next door. This is a PMP chunky lanyard. Um, so once again here, we've got the zip tie NFC tag attached to the lanyard there. I don't know if you can quite clock that on the label. Um, 
If I then take my scanner again, I open it up and I scan the NFC tag, it should bring that item up. And an interesting part about this particular item and this set of lanyards is, as most of you will know, a set of lanyards has multiple components. So it has picked up that set of lanyards, as you can see here. It's got the past inspection, next due, NFCs added, all of the other information we talked about previously. But it also has components here, as you can see. So what it does have is it also has the carabiner, which is on the end here. That is logged as a separate item for inspection against this particular set of lanyards as a component. It's also got the scaffold hooks on the end of the lanyard. So these particular scaffold hooks because they are individually serialized. So you can inspect those particular items on this app as separate. So I'll put them down now. So to go back to this petzl helmet, I can once again open up the application. In this case, I'm going to scan this time because I'm scanning a barcode. So I'm going to open up this helmet here and I'm going to scan the barcode. So you can see once again, that items come up, serial number, under specs, it's got all of the data sheets, conformities. It's also got a link to the website. It's got groups and it's got history. So all in all, Scannable is a really easy way of having your entire inventory in your pocket. It's a really easy way to look up an item. It's a really easy way to go, you know, I could do with finding out when the next inspection is. Because uh, the thing that comes up more and more with the people that we're training is, it's all well and good you giving Bob, who works for you, a set of kit. But how does Bob know that that kit is inspected before he begins to use it on site? Um, Another interesting feature of Scannable, which I think is really relevant now, is that you don't need the Scannable app to find out information about a product if it has an NFC tag. So you just need an NFC-enabled phone, something with Apple Pay, something you use with contactless payments, pretty common now. Um, the only caveat to that is that NFC, tag, uh, NFC readers are in various different locations on different phones. So that is very specific to the, the make of phone. In my case, my NFC reader is at the top of my iPhone here. So I'm gonna take an item that you can see I'm not in the app. I'll open it and I'll shut it down. So I'm not in that particular app anymore. I'm just on a lock screen. I'm gonna pick up this harness. This has a NFC tag attached here. You can see on the dorsal attachment point. And I'm just gonna hold my phone up to the NFC reader and it's not gonna work for me, obviously. There we go, got it eventually. So it's brought up that item just on my normal phone screen and I didn't need the application. So it's a great way for people that don't have the app or a great way for your people on site to be able to check that piece of equipment before use, which I think is an amazing feature of the system um, and something that we've implemented across all of our training courses because we do a pre-use checker standard before any use of equipment. So why not have the person that's about to use the equipment do the pre-use check, be able to check it just through a standard phone with an NFC reader. They can see serial number, when it was last inspected, when the next inspection is due. They can also bring up the instructions, data sheets, etc., and the history of the item. So I think that's a really, really great feature of this. So we've gone through how you would use the NFC readers in Scannable to find the item. But we talked around the inspection of the item. And for us, particularly in the training center, we are able to give devices, mobile phones, to our instructors um, and or our inspectors of equipment. And they're able to go around the center, use the phone to find that item and perform an inspection on that item without needing to go through the rigmarole of having someone there with a big Excel document, not being able to find the item, someone saving it in the wrong place. There's a multitude of things that go wrong when it's all manual. So this eradicates that. So I'll give you an example of this one. I'm gonna open up my NFC reader, find this item again. So obviously this one is in date, as you can see, the inspection is passed, but for this, I'm gonna just gonna demonstrate how you would do another inspection. So I go into Options, Inspect, and then you can mark Safe to Use, Failed, Quarantined, 
once you've performed the inspection, you would do all of this, a thorough inspection. Um, you would then add an image. In our case, what we're doing is adding any images of things that are of note, potential things we need to watch for, um, and we can leave notes against the item. Um, so in this case, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to click Save to Use. I'm going to add an image, and then I'm going to take a picture of the label in this case. Um, and I'm going to just complete the inspection. And there we go. You can see it's updated to the next due on the 22nd of June 2024. Um, that data is stored in the back end of the system. And although you can't see that on the application itself, on the desktop version, you will be able to see the historical data of that item and the inspections that have gone before. So why, why use Scannable? What are the benefits? Why are we using it? We've opted to use it because it's historically been an issue. It's taken a lot of time. Um, we think it's got a lot of applications for uh, equipment for clients because it's something we know that people struggle with. The traceability, you legally need to have it traceable. Um, it really saves on the man hours of going, well, where is that kit? Where is it supposed to be? Because you can find a piece of kit anywhere, scan it, and it tells you where that item is supposed to be. Um, so the person can then return that piece of equipment back to where it should be living, in theory. That's what they should be doing. Um, so in summary, Scannable, uh, we think, is a great tool. We think it really should be looked at by people. We've already got people on board that we do PP inspections for every six months anyway. Um, we're using them as a sort of guinea pigs for, for this particular software, and it's working really well. So we have ultimate control over their equipment. Um, we log it on the system for them. We tag it. We then provide them with the equipment back, tagged and everything. Their people can check them directly with the piece of equipment. Um, but they get a log into the back end of the system so that they can see the equipment on there in the desktop format also. The thing that that does uh, from the company's point of view is it keeps control of what items are on the list, what can be deleted, it can't be altered. So adding items would be down to a discussion between the company and ourselves, as well as inspecting the piece of kit would be between the company and ourselves. We can edit the settings so that you guys can complete inspections if you uh, had a person that was competent to do so, or we would continue to do the inspections on a six monthly basis. Um, so if you're interested, um, at all in Scannable. I think it's a great tool. I think it takes a lot of the aggro out of it. Please get in contact. Um, we can do Scannable tagging at source. So if you buy the equipment from us, part of our service will be to do that for you, upload it to the system. So we take all of that headache out of it um, and we can send it to you with logins to the back end and it's already pre-plugged in the system. So that is an overview of Scannable, why we're using it in the training center, what we're using it for, what the potential benefits might be of using it yourselves. So if you are interested in it, get in contact with our equipment team and we'll be happy to answer any of your questions.